this number line doesn't go from 0 to 1. Notice that. It goes from 0 to 1 to 2 to 3, and these are whole numbers. And then between each two whole numbers, it is divided into how many equal parts? Three equal parts, like here is 1, 2, 3. So we have thirds. And like we studied, this would be one third, two thirds. This here is three thirds, but it is also one. This one here is a third more, so it is four thirds. And here's five thirds. Then we come to six thirds, which is the same as two. And then to seven thirds, eight thirds, and here would be nine thirds. Okay, nine thirds being the same as three. On the next number line, our task is to mark these fractions on the number line. Nine sixths, eleven sixths, and so on. Okay, notice nine sixths is more than six sixths, right? And six sixths would be right here. One is the same as six sixths. So where would nine sixths and these others be? They're somewhere beyond one, somewhere here. And to mark them, I again need to draw those tick marks and divide the number line into how many parts? Six parts, right. But six parts between each two whole numbers. Six parts would be here and here and here. Okay. So this one, I divide it into two halves and then I put two tick marks here and two tick marks here. So now that one from 0 to 1 is divided into 6 parts. And I do the same here. First into 2 halves, and then put 2 tick marks there. And now I have 6 parts between 1 and 2. And one more time. Now we are ready to mark the fractions. 9 sixths. Like I said, 1 here is actually 6 sixths. So beyond that, there's 7, 8, and 9. Right there, 9 sixths. Let's draw a nice big dot there too. Eleven sixths is, of course, two sixths beyond this. One, two, more. Over here. Twelve sixths is one sixth beyond this. It's right here at two. And twelve sixths being two. Two holes, it makes sense because remember, six sixths was one, and so six and six is twelve, so twelve sixths makes two. And then seventeen sixths, okay, is twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. It is the last tick mark before three. There. Now over here, what do we have? Four fourths, right? Four fourths equals one whole. But notice, four fourths. I want you to think of this fraction line as a division symbol. This is also four divided by four equals one. Isn't it kind of neat? Let's see how it works here. Here I have three holes, okay? Three. Let's write it as a fraction by dividing each hole into so many equal parts. And so I could choose anything, but I'm going to choose sixths. Okay, so here I have six sixths, right? And here I have six sixths more. And six sixths yet more. How many sixths do I have? I have six and six and six sixths, or three times six, right? That's 18. 18 sixths. But this also works as division. 18 divided by 6 equals 3. You can think of the fraction line, this line here, as a division symbol. Let's solve this little problem or equation. I have 4. 4 is a whole number. And then how many thirds is it? I'm going to solve it by drawing. This is really easy. I'll just draw 4 holes, some kind of shapes that represent, each represents one whole. Okay, and then I divide them into thirds. 
And then you could call them all, I guess. I won't take time. How many thirds do I have? Three here, and three, and three, and three. Four times three? I have twelve thirds, right? But it also shows us a division. Twelve divided by three equals four. So, whole numbers like four, or three over here, or one, or we saw one more on the number line. If you saw, we have two here written as a fraction. Two is a whole number, twelve sixths. We can write whole numbers as fractions. And then sometimes fractions can be written as whole numbers. Some examples here, okay? Twelve fourths is actually a whole number. But which? You'll find out by dividing. Think of this as a division symbol. 12 divided by 4 is 3. Does that make sense? If you think of one whole, it would have 4 fourths. And then you have 4 fourths, 4 fourths, 4 fourths. 12 fourths. Okay, makes sense. 25 fifths is the same as 25 divided by 5 equals 5. 36 ninths is the same as 36 divided by 9 equals 4. Yep. And then this last one, 18 thirds is the same as 6, the whole number 6. All right, good job. We're all done with this lesson.